Hello and welcome back. Thank you once again for joining me. I've had a little break, but I'm back. Buckle up. What I'd like to do in this recording is to remind you how to once again take control of your health. Because without health, what else do you have to offer? What I want to focus on is cancer. Now, for some of you, it may come as a shock. And obviously, when I mentioned that word cancer, maybe some fear was, uh, suddenly came up in your, in, in, in your mind. You know, like chattering monkey. Or for those of you perhaps who have been labelled with cancer, you're thinking, what's this guy talking about? Well, again, what I suggest you do after you've listened to this recording, if you choose to, do some more homework or due diligence on this. Now, one of the wonderful things about the web is more information gets out there. And one of the reasons why I'm talking quickly and my passion is coming out, because I realise I've got less than 10 minutes to share this with you. You have in your body right now between 50 and 100 trillion cells. You have between 23 and 25,000 genes. Now, the smaller cells that we know in your body, well, there's about 210 of them that we've identified. You have skin cells, you have brain cells, heart cells, blood cells, and they're all different, but they're similar in the way that they process nutrients and also they remove toxins. They're living and breathing and they work in partnership. They work together as a community, communicating very well, unlike our world where we create wars. Let's not go there. Let's stick on the topic of cancer. Now, cancer actually is a part of you. It's not an alien. It doesn't zap into you. You have created it in your life because your life is out of balance. Everything in our lives requires yin and yang in the right ratio. In other words, your fundamental homeostatic controls have broken down and you've worked at it. You've probably taken many years practicing this unconsciously not realizing. In other words, your autonomic nervous system's out of balance. Your adrenals will certainly be fatigued and so will your thyroid. So those are your endocrine systems. Well, those are just two of them. There are others have started to break down. Your neurotransmitters are not functioning right. The pH of your body, your hormones are out of balance. Constitution's out of balance. There are many different fundamental homeostatic controls and they're all out of balance. Now, here's the deal as I know it. And trust me, I'm not a doctor. In your cells, as I mentioned before, there's mitochondria. That means the way energy takes place. And all cells contain another cell inside called mitochondria. In other words, they produce energy. ATP, adenosine triphosphates. And if they didn't, you and I would be dead. However, every cell has a shopping list. My question to you, what do you think that cell requires? It's not a trick question. Macro and micronutrients, or let's label them as orthomolecular medicine. In other words, your cell requires fats, carbs and proteins, vitamins, minerals, enzymes, trace elements, bacteria, etc, etc. What it does not require is a drug, a patented pharmaceutical drug. At best, it may treat a symptom. It never goes to the etiology or root cause. So if you want to take control of your health and stop yourself from creating too many cancer cells, which may metastasize in a weak area of your body, but trust me on this, it's systemic, it's all over. But once it builds up in an area of your body, the reason it's done that is because the cell was deprived of one important thing, and that's called oxygen. Now, why would that cell or cells be deprived of oxygen? Well, one of the reasons is because the cell has suffered from deficiency. Remember that shopping list that I mentioned before? You didn't provide the cell with all the vitamins, minerals, and all the other things that it wanted to in order for it to function properly. And or, secondly, you have got toxins in your body. You may have metal fillings, mercury. You may have aluminium from your sprays. You've got toxic chemicals that you clean your home with. You might be breathing in paint fumes, working in toxic oils. You've got fluoride and chloride in, in, your, in your water or in your toothpaste. So think about it, folks. Used in World War I and II as biological chemical warfare, and yet we have it to keep us clean and healthy. It's toxic and it's cumulative. So those things will obviously go into our cells, but then the cells can't function properly and they can't then get hold of the oxygen. So then what happens is the cell will then mutate. So cancer is a part of you. Right now, your body is producing cancer cells just like mine. But right now, the T3 receptors identify them and then destroy them. Everything's about balance. But once you have too many of them in the weakest area of your body, they may start to metastasize or accumulate. Houston, we then have a small challenge. And that challenge is then, unless you change your environment, or let's label that as your habits, which you've been doing, and I I'm, I'm really want to focus on the nutrition side, because anything with a shelf life does not have a self life. So you wouldn't put some diesel in a petrol engine. 
So what are you doing consuming a product? Something that was man-made because it is devoid, demineralized, denatured and doesn't have exactly with the right proportion everything your cells require. That's why I deal with metabolic typing. Nothing stays the same, everything changes. But you can listen to your body and give it exactly what it requires. So cancer's nothing to, to fear because if your body didn't create cancer, you'd be dead. So you do require to know, and remember knowledge is not power, unless it's applied. So I'm providing you now with some knowledge. Simply, you could go along to your local butcher or you could go along to your supermarket, you get to know your farmers, you could find out if they're not, assuming they're not using herbicides, pesticides, fungicides and all the other crap that they may spray on stuff. You could keep it as local as you can. You could even have your own garden and grow your own vegetables and your own fruits. Again, depending on where you're located. So you can vote right now like this and where you put your feet and what you're looking at. Those are simple ways you can vote and you can start to take control of your health if you want to. It's a choice. But for most people they're so addicted to their habits. Remember substances, alcohol, cigarettes, drugs and everything, their men's bits, whatever, they don't create demands on you. They don't tell you that the sex was bad last night and why didn't you send me some money in the mail. So we kind of get form these simple addictions. And because 99% of the population is addicted to sugar, it's socially acceptable and they don't even know they're addicted to sugar, which is a class A drug. Wake up people, take control right now of your health. Because without it, like I stated at the start, you have nothing to offer. And the other thing is you're then teaching your children how to be. That's why a lot of unconscious parents that smoke and push their kids around, not realizing that they're teaching their child then how to be when that grows up and can make its own decisions. I'm not saying that all children will then smoke, some swing the other way. But then they form strong opinions about it. Now my compassion and love goes out to you if you're listening to this and you have cancer. And I suggest you find yourself somebody who's healthy, who deals in health. As opposed to somebody who deals in disease like a doctor who lives 10 years less than you do. Again, do your own due diligence and don't buy into my BS, my belief systems, and find out if there's some truth in what I'm sharing with you. So, recap, cancer, it's not a disease, it's actually your body's way of showing you that you're out of balance. What are you going to do? What changes are you going to make? What distinctions are you going to make right now to either one, prevent and or reverse? Because both you can do if you've created a cancer in your body. Now, of course there are over 200 different types of cancers. Yeah, just so we can give over 200 different types of big pharmaceutical drugs, which at best may treat the symptom. Wake up, people. On a missing cellular level, remember that shopping list that you sell once. It isn't bloody chemotherapy or radiotherapy, and your body doesn't want an organ. I mean, just imagine if I drove up my new hybrid press car, lifted up the, the bonnet and said, OK, take anything you want. You took something out. Now, the car might run, but there's some things that are not going to work properly on the car. Yeah? Well, that's what the body's like. I mean, people say, well, you don't need your appendix. That's why they cut it out. Hello, do your homework. Good bacteria would be stored in your appendix. Oh, we don't need it. Really? So, once you start cutting stuff out, Houston, we've got a huge problem. Oh, I should say a huge challenge. Actually, I don't like problem because then you're a victim. There's a challenge. <laughs> then there's an opportunity for you to change. So hopefully from this recording, something's going to land for you and you're going to allow yourself to be guided by the knowledge which will then be created to wisdom once you apply it and you're taking control of your health. It really is simple. It takes no more energy or effort to create what you want in your life than to create what you don't want. You've just got to want to do it. So please folks, right now you can vote with what you're watching, where you're putting your money, who you're communicating to, etc, etc. And my heart, as I say, compassion goes out to those of you that are health challenged. However, you can do something about it. You're not a victim of your genes. You're actually a, a designer of your own heredity. You can be and do what you want. But like I said, without health, what else do you have to offer? Cancer, it's not a disease. It's actually a survival mechanism. Read Andre Moritz's book, that's one of them. But as I said before, if you've got cancer, that means that oxygen hasn't got to that cell. Why? Because there's a deficiency and or toxicity in the cell. It's that simple, folks. It's a part of you. Don't fight it. The fight, the fight for the cure, the fight for cancer. There's no need to fight it. It's just to change your direction. Hopefully a few more of you may have become a little bit more conscious about this. I love to you all. Enjoy your day. Bye for now.